Moin and guten tag. I'm in Portugal right now and I want to bake and I got this new batch of flour which I have no idea how much water I should be using for. And I even brought my sourdough from Germany. So I'm very excited to bake. But yeah, how much water should I be using? And for that I got a cool little trick that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Please don't just blindly follow water level suggestions on the internet. Some people will say 70%, others 80% but this really depends on the flour you have. Every flour is unique. I have been there myself. I followed those percentages and it was so hard to deal with the flour, always creating a super, super sticky mess. So I recommend you to do this trick for every flour that you have. That way you can really measure how much water you should be using for your sourdough and it's going to make baking so much easier. What's super important for the water absorption of your flour is the level of protein, the level of gluten. It's around 90% gluten typically, but also how much of the exterior of the grain you have inside of your flour. So what you should be asking is, how much water are you using? What's the protein level of your content? What type of flour are you using? That way you can figure out more or less how much water is the right amount. So in this case, this flour has around 13% protein and it's whole wheat flour. So this flour, I think it's going to be around 75% um, to 80% of hydration. And that's what I prepared those bowls for. I'll be putting in different levels of water into each bowl and then just I'll let that wait and figure out whether I can still pull the dough, whether I can still have that window pane effect or not. If I can, that means this is a safe level of hydration. If I can't, nope not going to work. This to me is a really good trick which I do on every new flour that I have to figure out what's a good level of water content because you don't want to be using too much else you get a runny dough which you can't work at all with. scale is just driving me nuts. It just goes from 39 to 41. It does not stop on 30. <laughs> it does! Finally, after trying this for five minutes. Flour has been added 40 grams each and now I gotta do a little bit of the mass and calculate how much water I should be using for each bowl. That's 26 grams of water for 65%, 28 grams of water for 70%, 30 for 75% and uh, help me, 32 for 80% and 34 So please, one thing I definitely learned is you want to have a good scale. Anyways, I'm just going to take my hand, I'll stir each of those and then I'll let that rest for 30 minutes now. This is called the autolysis and this is a great way to add additional dough strength to your dough. Now if you're interested in other methods of creating dough strength, I'm also going to be linking another video right here. Just take your hand and start stirring this. Just looking at the flower now, just compare this to the first one, you can see how much this is already tearing. This feels like it's a little bit too much. All right, so I waited for 30 minutes and let's have a look. I did not manage to find a cover so that dough might have dried out a little bit here on top, but that's that's okay. 
Let's get started with the 65% hydration though. And you can see I can just pull it like this. Good gluten development. This would definitely be safe. I would feel this dough is a little bit too stiff. I could not expand it enough. 70%. Good, good window pane effect. This dough looks very good. I would prefer this um, structure over the other structure. Now, 75%. Wow. Also really holds its shape very well. Um, nice window pane effect. This is uh, also excellent. And now we got the, uh, wait, 65, 80%. So 80%. And look at this. Nice window pane effect here too. I mean, it tears a little bit, but I'm overstretching it. Um, this is definitely something that's also bakeable. And now the last one, which is going to be the 85%. I'm excited to test this. Ah, but you can see here, this dough is just tearing too much. I wouldn't want to be. Nope. So I would say this one here, the 80%, that's that's uh, advanced. You would need to have a good technique, uh, but probably safer is the 75%. That's going to be easier. But this one here, which was the 85%, nope, that's definitely too much. I always love applying this trick when I'm working with new flour. It just makes it so easy to figure out what's the right amount. Now, if you're a beginner baker, I always recommend to go a little bit lower with the water level content because it makes it easier to work with the dough. Let's say this test would suggest you 75%. I would recommend to go with 70%. And now let's put this trick to the test. I already made it though. I incorporate the sourdough starter and let me show you just how well this dough already came together. I let this auto lease for an hour and then added my sourdough starter. And now it's been around 15 minutes. And just have a look at how well this dough stays together. This is exactly the kind of consistency that you want. It's so easy to work with. This is going to be an amazing bread. And I'm really excited because I also never baked before with this flour. In my opinion, there's three parameters that are required to master when you want to bake a great sourdough bread. And you mastered number one now using the right amount of water. Number two is building out of dough strength. I'm going to be adding a video for this right here. And then the last one, I think the most important one is to properly control the fermentation process. You need to know how much to feed your sourdough starter. Uh, you need to know when to add your sourdough starter. You need to know when to stop fermentation because over fermenting with the sourdough is always going to create a very 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 sticky dough i have another video on this which i'll be linking right here that brings us to the end of this video i really hope you learned something new you had fun i'm super excited to finish baking this and tomorrow morning i'll have super yummy delicious bread